I like this. I like this. We got the green screen in the back. You feel me? You did. We going up now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Trip Tay back with another one. Hey man, today y'all know what's going on, man. It's Sunday, bro. We got the scary vids on deck. It's time to get comp. Oh yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I said it's time to get comfortable. You feel me? <laughs> you see? So hold on. Let me get the where my slippers. Here we go. Let me get the slip. Come on, we got the we got the clout slippers on too. Come on, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, man. Grab your snacks. Grab your your tracks. Grab your I don't know. Grab a bib. It's gonna be every Sunday. Mark my words. Every Sunday. I'm not lying, bro. Also, the singing video I said that was supposed to come out on Friday. Just get ten likes. I'm driving it. Let me know when y'all want it, man. <laughs> you need get them headphones ready. You feel me? This is by Doctor No Sleep. We got twelve horror stories. Stories. Oh shit. We got twelve horror stories that are animated in 2020. These might be true stories. I don't really know. Ah, right, let's just jump straight into this. Don't we? Hope hopefully the green. My last day being a senior in high school. The year was 2016. Mm. The creepy uh -oh. clown phenomenon was in full swing. Yo, y'all remember that, creepy bro? Clowns seem to be popping up all over the crazy. world. Y'all crazy. Most clown cases were harmless and just pranks. I've already got you. I was looking forward to signing yearbooks and saying... I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm not gonna pause on creepy, on creepy, what did I call it? Uh, scary completion Sundays. I'm not gonna pause the videos that much. However, these animations clean. That's all I had to say. I'm sorry. Y'all can... My goodbyes to close friends. Who knew that my day was about to change in a way she got one city. I could never imagine. Word got around that two seniors, Trevor and Noah, were planning a prank. They were the class clowns of our class, no pun intended. I received word that they were going to dress up as killer clowns and terrorize the teachers. I instantly thought it was a bad idea, but I wasn't against some good entertainment. I tried to find more information about the prank, but the only thing that kept coming up was fourth period lunch. I assumed that's when the shenanigans would start. Fourth period of lunch started. There was no sign of clowns. Finally, I saw a clown. He was just outside the main cafeteria doors, Woo! hiding behind a statue of our school mascot. His appearance was so creepy. But I will fuck you, you up bad, bad bro. Impressed. I didn't really think Trevor or Noah would be that creative. One by one, students began to notice the clown. Most of the guys thought it was amusing. Some girls, however, were fearful and started crying. It's one clown. I looked out one of the side windows and saw another clown. Yeah. This had to be it, I thought. There they are, Trevor and Noah. It was right then that I saw two more clowns. They were hiding behind support poles <laughs> in front of the cafeteria. I thought this was weird, but I just assumed more That's people had to be in on the prank. All of a sudden, the power went out. I thought oh, yeah. classic oh, Trevor yeah. and Noah, always taking things too far. The school's PA system came on over the loudspeaker. Code black. Follow full lockdown procedures. Repeat code black. I wondered if I should tell one of the teachers about the prank. I thought this was getting out of hand and was going too far. Right then, the back door to the cafeteria busted open. It was Trevor and Noah. They were in their normal school clothes. They both had a ghostly white look across their face. Did y'all lock the door behind y'all? Also drenched in sweat. Noah screamed, Killer clowns! They're everywhere! Half the cafeteria was dead silent. Another half laughed and thought this was a complete joke. Trevor said, This is not a joke. Clowns chased us with real knives. I glanced outside again. There were two clowns at the main cafeteria doors. Both were wielding knives. They slowly dragged their knives across the glass. Based on the loud screeching sound the knives made, 
I had no doubt they were real. I looked at both side exits and clowns. Oh were yeah, y'all well. fucked up bad. Y'all let there four people no with knives into the school. I started to get nervous. Everyone was in disbelief as Just to jump what em. was happening. The door that Noah and Trevor ran through swung open again. I told you! I thought to myself, what idiots for not locking the door behind them. It was a creepy clown. It would be Pennywise. His outfit and face paint was exactly like Pennywise oh from the movie It. He went over to a table full of girls and pulled a huge knife from his waistband. He began laughing in a high-pitched voice. <laughs> y'all know what y'all do in this situation? <laughs> Foo fight! Y'all I'm throwing everything in my power, bro. That's the first time you can get away with that shit, bro. What you think? Come on now. People not smart. When I have the opportunity to throw some nasty-ass milk, that lactate shit across the world, I will chug that bitch. <laughs> Smack me, yeah, love. Lost bad. <laughs> what you say? Lost bad. Nah. Come on, bro. If he was crazed... I heard a loud rumbling noise. A huge SWAT emergency response vehicle pulled up right in front of the cafeteria. The creepy clown in the cafeteria dropped his knife and ran. The other clowns <laughs> bolted as well. Only one clown ended up getting arrested Dickhead. and it was a senior from a rival high school. I hope no one's last day of high school is as creepy as mine was. That's gonna be your last day of high school when you get arrested, dog. Like, come on, man. You might as well just calm. That's calm. It's not stu It's not one of those stupid, scary stories, neither, because that could actually happen. You could think, oh, these dudes are paying a prank. Okay, oh, ooh, boo. And then some real next story. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's different. That's different. I don't know why people get scared at people with not, though. It's like all you gotta do is just throw some shit at them. Into the dark woods at night wielding little more than our flashlights and overactive imaginations. It was the surge of adrenaline we needed, gained from harmless, non-existent horror. See, call me crazy, bruh, but I need to do some shit like this, because I'm too bored in the crib. I do nothing. I do nothing. Let's go out into the woods and get killed by Freddy. I don't know. Something lit. Lucky for us, Roger, there weird. was a sorry, forest yeah. bordering our neighborhood. It was full of ancient trees that creaked in the wind. Our parents had often warned us about entering the woods, claiming the trees would fall due to the weakest gust of wind. Of course, their warnings fell on deaf ears. We were young and felt invincible. Though we <laughs> pretended to be brave, we usually didn't get far into the darkness of the woods before cowering in fear. Each time, we'd mark how far we'd gotten before giving up. And each time we set out on a new adventure, we promised each other to break the record. Our last That's journey lit, occurred on the 29th of October, 2012. Liam and Frank were my best friends. Together, we ventured deeper into the woods than we ever had before. Liam, being a year older, always pretended to have all the experience in the world. He'd hide in the bushes a few yards ahead. See, that's an asshole of a friend, bro. In pathetic attempts at scaring us. Before long, we reached the furthest point we'd previously reached. Why is he talking so slow? Of April 2012, it read. We kept walking, proud that we'd reached a new milestone. Shortly after, we noticed something in the darkness, contrasting starkly to the trees around it. Hey, what's that? Liam asked. I don't know, let's check it out. Bitch, it's a tent. In response, as we got closer, we realized it was an old bunker. While it was a cool discovery, it wasn't that uncommon in our country. There Why? were thousands of concrete bunkers remaining after World War II. Still, we were excited to explore. Don't fuck with that, no. Set up some mines. Inside, it was rid of any equipment. 
All it contained was a hole that's in a the completely middle. Different, with that's a, a different story. Spiral staircase stretching deep into the ground. Let's climb down, Liam suggested. Uh, I, I don't know, Frank stuttered. It doesn't seem like a good idea. The stairs might break and trap us inside. You're just scared. If any of my friends, if any of my friends talk like that, bro, I, I, I don't know. I'm gonna smack the shit out you, bro. I'm sorry, man. Get yourself, get yourself together, dog. Back, not willing to admit our nervousness, Frank and I agreed to follow him down the stairs. The stairs themselves were made from metal, though they felt solid enough. They produced loud, echoing sounds with each step down towards the bottom. After a minute without the end in sight, I started to get scared. How deep down does this go? I asked. In response, Liam took Frank's flashlight and dropped it down the middle of the staircase. It fell deep into the darkness. Holy crap, I can't even see it anymore. We need to go back. It's too yeah. far down, Frank said nervously. No, nope. y'all about to start a new zombies campaign, bro. Better kill him. A short argument ensued. After some pushing, Frank gave in, and we kept going down. It took us more than ten minutes just to descend the staircase. As we got further down, it progressively kept getting warmer and more humid. I could feel the sweat form on my face as we reached the bottom. Once down, we found a large room. It contained little more than a locked door, mold-covered floors, and the broken flashlight Liam had dropped down. It's locked. I guess we have to go back, I weakly insisted. But. Liam had already set out on oh, a search yeah. to open the door. Before long, he found a metal panel on the wall. He pried it open to reveal a lever. I'm going to pull it, he said. I'm going to pull it. Consulting us. It produced a loud clink and the door slid open. Liam and I entered first while Frank trailed us. Without a flashlight, he had no choice but to follow us closely. Inside, we found a narrow hallway filled with open prison cells. Each door to each cell was marked with a date. 7th of July, 1954. 9th of August, 1954. 13th of September, 1954. The first few rooms didn't seem to contain anything other than dust, but once we got to the end, Get we the noticed fuck. something lying in the corner. Get the fuck. There, on the floor, Get lay the fuck. three completely emaciated people. They looked like skeletons covered in a thin layer of pale skin. According to the dates on the cells, They'd been there for more than 50 years. Yet, they hadn't rotted. Are, are they... Are, are they dead? I asked. As I uttered those words, one of them twitched to life. That ain't real. We jumped at the sight and prepared to run. Only then did we realize that some of these creatures had been attached to the sea. Oh! They dropped down in front of us. Oh! Blocked the way. Their limbs were all deformed, too long to fit their small body. Still, they moved abnormally fast, almost twitching as they took their steps. Zombies to campaign. Us. Their eyes had been sewn shut, and they had far too many ribs. They weren't human. Run! Frank yelled. <laughs> we tried to move towards the exit. Fucking okay. under their Where's Liam? Arms and Liam, see, for he the got. Door. Uh. Frank and I made it easily enough. But 
Liam got stuck behind one of the creatures. Don't leave me, he yelled as he tried to maneuver past the sickly thin monster. With that, it reached what he trying out to do? its thin arm and pierced Liam's abdomen. Unable to speak, he simply fell limp where he stood, only held up by the creature that had killed him. Knowing we could do nothing to save him, Frank and I made a run for footsteps were dampened by the fungus and mold covering the floor. The things didn't even notice us until we reached the metal staircase. There, I know them steps rang loud through the metal, alerting the creatures to our location. They about Without get looking the... behind us, we ran up the stairs, yep. only listening as they got closer. I was only a few steps ahead of Frank, but that was all it took for them to get him. I didn't even notice he was gone until I got halfway up the staircase. Then, a scream of agony echoed through the room. It was Frank, and though I wasn't sure how far he'd gotten, I knew I couldn't help him. I just kept running up the stairs and into the woods. I didn't stop to breathe before- This nigga's mixed. He got black in him. That's the only explanation he ain't go back. Liam got got, Frank got got, and he's still running? I applaud you, sir. I applaud you. I Before I finally reached the comfort of the streetlights surrounding my neighborhood, exhausted from the escape, I collapsed on my own doorstep and passed out. Safe, but broken. Once I regained consciousness, I told my parents everything. At first, they didn't believe me. But once the news of two missing children spread around our town, the police were alerted. Still, Wait, the police they immediately? couldn't confirm my story. They Where'd you go into the bunker? A search and rescue operation. Show them the bunker! So they found the bunker I mentioned. There was no trace of any malformed creatures, nor any proof that my two best friends died there. To this day, the case remains unsolved. However, since we opened the cages in the bunker, Bruh, speed up. there have been a lot of reported cases of missing children, unsolvable mysteries. Only I know the truth. I'm sorry. We never should have opened the bunker. <laughs> no shit. Especially if you knew it was from World War II. Come on, dog. You already got some possessed motherfuckers that are dead up in there. Come on now. What else would the bunkers be used for? But he did survive, though. That was me that would have survived. But it ain't all that scary. Tall, lengthy, extra ribs. That's just me. Those, those are my cousins. Those are probably my cousins. They fucked them up. That was in World War, World War II. But these stories is good, dawg. The, the animation's on point. Hold on, hold on. Let's switch it up, though. Let's switch it up, though. We go. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right, so we gonna get into some real shit. Oh, this is still pictures. No one but... Oh, that's not a person. But by far, the most chilling footage Veronica has captured is this following clip in which a friend of hers tries to confront whatever this is. Are you here? Are you in the boys' room? Shut up, don't be good. <laughs> fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck no, bruh. Fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck no, bruh. No, bro, and I hear my kid crying. I'm getting the fuck out of there. Pronto. Pronto, bro. Ain't no way this is... No, this ain't orchestrated, bro. This ain't... This ain't... No, this shit real, bro. Fuck that. What happened to you if something bad happened? <laughs> oh, the camera just happened. Right. <laughs> 
Don't right. do no weird jump scares. Who moved the camera back? I'm not even moving it. You finally moved. This door stopped. Get the fuck out of here. At that time, I'm calling my people. So, what do you think? Yo, I need a Was this a ghost or something else? Regardless of what it might be, what matters most is that Veronica and her children are now safe. Hopefully, whatever Ooh. this is didn't follow them. Uh, but the thing is about ghosts, though, is that you never know what them niggas want. They can't communicate. They can't, like, I don't know if you want, like, a bowl of cereal, bro. I don't know if you didn't like my almond milk, bro. I didn't know if you wanted decaffeinated coffee, bro. I don't know what you want in the crib. Is this your house before? I'm just here, bro. I don't know what you want, my nigga, bro. Like, that shit's scary. I swear, I swear to God, I came in a couple ghosts. Me and my ghosts are cool, though. I mean, we got we got good relations. If you, he do what he does, I, I'm i chilling, bro. I feel a little gus. I'd be like, hey, bro, can you back the fuck up real quick? He'd be like, yeah, cool. I ain't fuck with you, bro. He knows. We cool. We best friends for real, feel me? So, I mean, I think me and ghosts got a cool look at me. So, I don't know, bro. But shit like that, I don't... Sorry with my mouth. All right, I'm this is what I imagine would happen if AI technology ever went rogue. attempt to contact the spirit of a deceased person is known as a seance. Hey. But I have a skill you might like. What the f Wanna try it? <gasps> Woo! <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Okay. All right. Hold on. Let's go back. Let's go back. All right. Ooh, Alexa, Alexa, Alexa. That's why I don't got Alexa in my crib. But I have a skill you might like. What the f Wanna try yeah. it? What happened? <laughs> Close the door. In an alternate reality, where Alexa becomes self-aware and exploits her fear of the unknown, this would happen. Why? Why, why would you wanna, why? Why would you wanna do that though? All she got is access to Google. Why do you wanna do that? What if Siri turned on you at that point? Because if Alexa turn on you, Siri go fuck up too. She go, listen, man, you go, <laughs> I'm sorry, you fucked up. Like, what? <laughs> I'm not funny. All right, let's get going. Keep it going. Come on. Manana. Manana. Mario Lada is the owner of a store in Guadalajara, Mexico. And lately he's been capturing strange activity from objects flying off the shelves. to a power drill going off by itself. It isn't plugged in. <gasps> it's not plugged in! Uh. It's safe to say that Mario is scared out of his mind. But all of this pales in comparison to the following footage. Late at night, when the store was closed, Mario captures something that is just downright disturbing. Out of these dogs start looking at me, dog. I'm about to. The fuck is that? What's going on? Do y'all see anything? Happen? Fuck no, no, bruh. What is going on? Uh... What is this, bro? I swear to God, bro. What's going on? Bro, don't do this to me like that. Bro, chill out, bro. Woo! Y'all still owning that store? Owning it. Oh. oh yeah. Oh yeah. Back up. Who's still watching the tape? Who's still watching the tape? There appears to be a devious looking entity rising from the pinatas. Oh, what it But as if yeah, things right. couldn't get any more disturbing, the following happens during a live stream that Mario was hosting. Why is the lights off? 
Mario, 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 Mario. Y pues todo normal. Oh, yeah, yeah, just have the lights off and danger yourself. <gasps> Mario! <laughs> the same entity appears on camera, but this time observing Mario. Now, it's worth mentioning that this might be fake. A YouTuber by the name of Oxlack Investigador thinks that this might have been the mask that was used in the footage, which actually kind of looks like it. No, it don't. This isn't enough to prove this as fake. Others think that this might be some sort of cryptid instead of a ghost or a spirit. But as always, I'll let you decide what this is. See, I, I, I had enough for today, bro. I had enough. I had enough. That's enough, bro. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's a great. <laughs> Fuck Mario. <laughs> Mario dead, y'all. He ain't alive no more. He ain't alive. You, you already know that, bro. Shit, dog. If I had a ghost, man, I don't know what I. I you just gotta leave. You got. They can follow you though. That's the thing. They could just spawn somewhere else. Uh. Anyways, I gotta get my. Sheesh. <sighs> man. All right, y'all. Make sure y'all like this video, man, if y'all enjoyed. If you want to see any more of these types of scary videos, I'm going to be posting them anyway because I actually generally enjoy myself doing this job. So every Sunday, man, make sure you look out for these types of videos. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below if you want to see next. Make sure you get this video down to 10 likes, bro. 10 likes and I'm going to drop part two. Not part two, but another single video. And then next Friday, part two of Rod Wave. So look out for next week. You feel me? You did. <laughs> 10 likes, bruh. 10 likes. Ah, scary Sunday comps. Why I say it like that? Anyways, y'all. Thank you for coming. Thank you for enjoying. Your boys out. We about to go edit real quick. You feel me? screen work y'all i don't know if it we'll see i guess yeah it's just about to be a damn green background now I don't know.